July 2019. That was last year. And uh, it was not that bad actually because um, the weather was nice and we've been able to, to do many activities here in the garden. And we played around, we walk around. But now after eight months living here, we already know how to go back and put the city and some other areas here. Guys, I'm feeling better now. And uh, after four days of not going out, um, now uh, I'm here again in our garden. I was really sick the other night and I was really, really feeling nervous and uh, I'm glad I felt better. So today I'm going to show you our garden, our messy garden from the winter, winter mess or something. So since the weather is good today, let's start here in our door. Yes, this is our door. When you get out of the house, you will see this mess. <laughs> Yeah, all the mess and we have some uh, our garbage uh, room we put all the recycling garbage there and we need to clean it before we need to clean it on, on a spring maybe soon maybe next week or next next week and here you see these trees all these trees from here to there um that is a uh, raspberry raspberry and blueberries on summer time we have a lot of fruits here and then if you walk a little bit here you will see our barbecue machine or barbecue cooker or whatever it's a very nice one but uh, i don't know why we don't take care of it we cover it but uh, uh because the wind is so strong so it removes the cover so let's go here yeah, um, we need to remove all these dry trees and leaves. And we have this bungalow, the bungalow that uh, we put a lot of stocks, uh, uh, broken machines there because we have no space uh, in other places. But I want to clean that one so we can, I can enjoy some hmm, coffee there with my friends or tea. It's so nice to 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 hang out in that uh, bungalow sometimes. You know, the changing environment is very important. Not always inside the house or just the same the same um, uh, place. So here, all these trees uh, on summertime or if the weather is good, uh, the leaves will start to grow and this will become all green. And here. In this tree, you see this this tree, this tree up. How can I show you the tree up? Okay, now this tree. Whoops. Yeah, this tree on my uh, that I'm holding, that is apple tree. So we have apples on uh, some. And now you see we have that the. Whoops. Oh my God. You know, I'm still practicing using this um, Bimble 2 stabilizer. It's a very nice one, but I still need to practice. You see these flowers, they are starting to, to grow. And it's really, really, it's beautiful, you know. You see, it's beautiful flowers. I will get one so you can see. Mm. So beautiful. And here, yeah, here is uh, we have area for for some plants or some vegetables to to grow here. But uh, you know, I'm new here in Denmark. Um, we've been here eight months now, and uh, as I told you, I'm a city girl, and I'm not used to this uh, countryside life. So, so. Um, I don't know how to plant trees or black vegetables, but I really want to try, maybe soon. So I will just leave this uh, sun here. Yeah. And this, uh, this one, 
is a greenhouse. It's called greenhouse. That one called greenhouse. Greenhouse ang tawag nila dyan kahit na hindi naman green. I don't know why. But uh, I show you. In this greenhouse, uh, last summer when we arrived here, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of grapes, you know. It's very, very nice here. A lot of grapes inside. But uh, let's see now. Oh, because it's just uh, because of the winter, everything is dry here. But I clean it already. And maybe soon the grapes will start to to grow yeah there's a lot of grapes here and uh, i want to grow some tomatoes or some philippine vegetable here but i don't know where to buy the those seeds okay uh oops i forgot to close i need to close it i don't know how how it grows there because i don't put water there so i don't know if it's automatic or something but anyway so we're going to walk here on the sides we are going to make a round round walk around the house so yeah and these uh trees uh when the, the leaves started to grow um we cannot see the neighbor anymore at the moment we can still see the neighbor moving around their garden and sometimes they said hello and uh, we said hi that's it but we don't uh, we don't have a we don't hang out with them so uh, here this is a beautiful tree it's a white starting to be white it means spring is coming look or spring already look it's so beautiful it's a beautiful tree there I don't know how it's called, I don't know how this flower called, but uh, you see that? Oh, I love these trees, white flowers in here. Okay, so let's continue. And this is small trees here. It's so nice, but uh, it's taking space. I want to remove all this, but you know, guys, um, to hire someone to remove this trees is very expensive when i was new here uh, i got annoyed with all those grasses and i don't know what to do i hired an italian gardener to clean all all around the house and uh, he removed the garden i uh, the garden the the grasses and some plants and uh, yeah it was so nice but after two weeks it grows again and i felt like i just wasted my money i just wasted paying this guy so I stop and better better for me to try do it by myself but anyway I think I can learn then let's go here the the I'm walking now towards the gate actually but I just want to show you we have some more trees here and we have some uh, garbage here that we need to throw in the recycle recycling area and a lot of uh, unwanted woods and and garbage also that we need to throw so we have a lot of things to do here actually so this is our gate it's broken already and this is our main main street yeah so if you walk that way uh, that is uh, going to the bus stop it's just like five minutes so it's not that bad actually and then if you go on that way naman that is the end of the street no houses there anymore only two houses left there and also that uh, the end of this street is closed so not many cars going around here so now we're going to the left side we're going to the back of the house now so yeah so we have some things here that uh, materials for doing the, for making the roof or something so just stuck there and here um, this is uh, our parking space for four cars or five cars and this is uh, one uh, of our car and the other car was uh, <laughs> but, and here this tree 
This one has a very beautiful flower also. But uh, I need to wait. Maybe next week it, uh, it will flower. And uh, here, in this area, I want to put a, in these trees, two trees, I want to put a swing here. But I'm still trying to find a nice swing that we can put there. And here we have a trampoline uh, that I normally gump with my son because he don't play alone by himself. Yeah, this is a bit helpful to, to use energy, you know. And yeah, and we have more and more flowers here in front during the during summer so we have another bungalow here um but the roof was broken uh, still not fixed so um, yes i want to fix this uh, bungalow because uh, i want this to, i want to make a uh, a snack area for the kids when we invite uh, when we invite some friends and uh, the kids can hang out in this uh, bungalow and the adult can hang out in the other bungalow so it's very nice and I'm going to put a swimming pool for the kids and we have a slide uh, slide uh, water park to put there so yes, uh, it's quite nice here somehow. But I'm getting used to to live in this countryside, especially now during the lockdown. I I've learned a lot to appreciate this garden. Can you see now? Uh, um, we 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 can relax here, and we can choose where we want to sit down and relax. It's so nice to have some air, you know. Of course, we don't see some people, but. Uh, still okay and uh, imagine if I get stuck in Madrid in Spain in our small apartment there with my son and when we look in the window it's all buildings around and no air and you are not allowed to get to go out in Spain at all it's very very dangerous in Spain now so we moved in a right in a right time in Denmark. We are so lucky. We are very very lucky. So I really appreciated all this now, this garden, because it's difficult to stay in the city at the moment. So yes, and here we have this. Um, this is stones. If you want to do something like a the fire bar barbecue or something here that one those with the stone you know we can do some uh, danish snow it's like we are grilling a flour bread or and here we have a, uh, another flowers that are starting to bloom uh, this flower is beautiful it's violet it's, or how do you call this yeah it's purple Maybe in a few days, you will, we will see more flowers. And yeah, this is now going to do to the back of our house. And we have here, we have, our, we have more flowers here and it's beautiful. Yellow. Yeah, so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. And then the, the other one there. Yeah. Now we go to the back. I'll show you here. Here in Denmark, um, they are very strict regarding the garbage, or they have a uh, separate. Uh, they do recycling. They have separate uh, garbage here for the plastic, for the leftovers, or anything for the metal. And then for the foods and for the how they get paper you know guys for the food there say separate uh, plastic bag that they give every week two weeks or every week here it's a green bag so you cannot put the foods leftover foods in any bags only the green bag only in green bags so this is our garbage uh, here garbage can here five we have five big uh, garbage so, yeah, 
And you know, this blue one is a stock room. We, we stock room where you can stock everything that you don't use, you know. And here we have a lot of mess, like a machine for cleaning the garden or for doing construction. And we have more and more machine here. We have two stock rooms, the, the, the one there and then this blue one. You see guys, there's a lot of work in this garden. A lot, a lot, a lot in this one. Because this house was, uh, because this, this house is an uh, old house that uh, is starting to, to renovate, you know. So it's, it's still a lot of works here. But little by little, we can fix it. Here, it's not easy to, to hire someone to help you. It's not like Spain or other countries. There are many Filipinos here, but it's women, uh, women and married with Danish. And they also have a lot of work in their house, so they cannot help you at all. And uh, they have their own family to take care of. Not many Filipino men here because uh, it's not easy to enter in the mark uh, to reside here unless you have a family here or wife or husband. So, yeah. So, this is our door again. And you will see there is my machine for exercise and my bicycle. And today, that is the table that we sat. So that is my vlog for today. I hope you enjoy it and please don't forget to press like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!